and at least 100 runs scored. And the Royals are going to get him to open the game as Kiaspo moves to the grass. One down. And Kiaspo again. Two down. Minnesota coming up with four runs in the fourth inning to knock him out. He has a one two count. De Jesus with a finesse base hit out into left field. Chavez hustling to get to it. And David on his way to second for the lead up. Meyer over at third base. And now he lines it into center field. It's going to drop in front of Gutierrez. Hit hard. Branion somehow made the play. Seattle's going to get a double play as De Jesus comes in. And Jose really getting it going at the plate. And now he's going to reach after him. Deep right field, Suzuki was shallow, it's into the corner, it is off the wall. Guillen has to hold at third. Get up the bat of Mark Tian. That's into center field, the Royals going to try and score two. Here comes Billy around third base, and the Royals lead 3-0. Branion again will go to a 3-0 lead, and now Russell Branion drives it. The left field, but De Jesus playing him perfectly, and 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 we talked about guys who move around a lot, and it all really depends on the, the amount of pressure you put on yourself. And that's stroked into right center field. Guillen is chasing, but he won't get there, and that's a classic Ken Griffey Jr. stroke. Into Back to Sydney. He faces four, but only. Hop to Betancourt, who goes to the outfield grass to throw out Olivo. And, and Willie's playing the role of multiple uh, positions and doing a great job there also. A walk to DeJesus with two to compete for an everyday job in Kansas City. Into right field, Ichiro Suzuki makes the catch. As if we're also skilled at the game of baseball. Well, very few guys went there that had no baseball experience at all, but. Tien at third base, handling the two hopper runs a season and a gold glove every season and a whole bunch of hits like that. Driving man. Aspo at second base, throws out Chavez. Tien into deep right field. Nothing Branion can do about this one. Home run number four and a four to nothing Royals lead. Two pitch. Somehow gets it through. Beltre. <laughs> Butler singles the left. So three straight hits. And through the left side. The end is going to be held. And the Royals have the bases loaded with situations like this. And the Mariners are going to get a double play. But the Royals will get another run. And that's a balk. And the Royals are going to get their sixth run. High to left field. And Chavez over near the line gets Seattle Mariners. Ian's going to have to hurry on the big bounce and gets. Look at the ERA to both clubs. That is why they're where they are. But you also got to look at the defense, too. And, and usually when you have a low ERA, your team. They're not in the game. On zone, strike. Meyer grounded to short his first time up. And now up the middle. Lopez can't get it. Mitch is one for two. Fish and into center field. Bloomquist to the opposite field comes through again. Meyer going to be held, and now we got a problem in between second and third. And now Meyer takes off for the plate. Mariners are going to get an out. They'll have runners at up the middle, and the Royals. Might get two out of it. They will. Eight to nothing. Tian has driven in three. Scored five times. 
off the end of the bat. Didn't quite get it. Gutierrez in center field. Lester past Beltre in the left field. 13 hits for the Royals. <laughs> but, but I think with Mike Jacobs, I think he always understands. Pitch coming with the bases loaded. In the right center. Slicing towards Suzuki. And that's the inning. You're still a young guy, Jamie. 38. <laughs> <laughs> It's a long run in for Guillen, but he's there to make the catch. He's not mess with foul balls when he's in the stands. Olivo, the only one who might have a play. Gutierrez runs well. To the left side, base hit. Griffey not running well, so he'll hold it now. Ponson's got it to the plate for one, and that's all the Royals will get. He beat the Mariners. Back to Ponson again. Barry went to his sinker. They beat some balls in the ground back to him and pass at it. Then you know that he, he's probably on that fastball. He would just read what the goal of the hitter was. Suzuki is going to run this one down to Jesus. It's a run scored for Bloomquist. Nice play by Beltre. Won the gold glove at third base last year. Of the sinker and how well it's working. Into left field, the Jesus will play it on a long hop. And into right center field, that's going to be a long run for Guillen and Meyer. Guillen cuts it off. Lopez. Deep center field, Meyer all the way back and just barely has room. The Mariners get their first run, it's 8 to 1. Beltre drives in his Griffey. The right center. Guillen's going to want it with his arm, but Meyer makes the catch. Branding to the plate. Meyer's throw is in time. Olivo got him with a high tag. The <laughs> Lopez. Jamie, I know when I was a base runner scoring on a four pitch walk. Be maximizing your swing. It's up off the middle. Lopez. Tough flip for Betancourt, but he turns. Back to Ponson, who's been busy tonight. And a two hopper to Tian. So Ponson continues to get the ground ball out. And that's deep into the left field corner. De Jesus on the track. Just has room. Second time. Alberto Cayasco. Lines it to center and caught by so Piasco is 0 for 4. And now Levo loops it out into right center field. And now he and that's through the right side. Olivo will not test Suzuki's arm. And now De Jesus slices it into left center field. And Chavez reaches up to make the play. Olivo is tagging. Lopez at second base throws out Bloom right away into the game. Said he just golfs one out into center field from behind home plate. Andy Chavez to Mitch Meyer in shallow left center. Chavez is from behind home plate. Andy Chavez to Mitch Meyer in shallow left center. Lopez into deep left and to Jesus. Gonna have to play this one off the fence. Suzuki will be held at third base. Struck him out. Back to win that game. Jam badly and a slow roller to Hernandez, who's a great glove. Lopez off of his glove, and Tian's gonna reach. Gutierrez coming up in center field. Hernandez. Garrett Olsen really taking one for the team tonight. He's been in there since the fourth inning and has allowed two runs. Brandon makes a good play. Pounded into deep right field, and that's going to sail over Suzuki. Tian rounding third. And he'll score on the double from Jacobs, who has three hits. Gets a big bounce. 
you know Sweeney could hit. And on cue it's a. Ground ball to first that's striking game of the doubleheader the Royals are way out in front. And. Nice play by Bloomquist sliding to get Joe. Who watched Mike do most of his damage here. Infield fly rule as Kiaspo goes. He went around so Farnsworth ends his outing with a strikeout. And the Royals bullpen in the last two games has allowed one run in ten innings.